All right, YouTube, what's up, guys? I'm about to upload this video that you're about to watch right now. Um, this video you're gonna watch isn't like a normal vlog that I usually do. I have all these special edits and everything. I just do some color grading, very, very simple edits. And it's not really a vlog about my day, but really a conversation with um, a junior full stack developer at my company. And I asked him a question and I asked him, um, hey bro, can I ask you a question for the vlog? And he said, yeah. And so I asked him, what do you think about self-taught developers as someone who is going to a, who is, I believe, going to a four-year college right now to get a, a computer science degree and working with people like me and even our senior developer self-taught and just seeing his thoughts on someone who is a self-taught developer, be misconceptions people had and just and things in general and what, what he sees from being a self-taught developer and also going to college. So I wanted to really just put this video, keep it plain and simple. It's a lot of talking, no music in the background at all. So I think it's very good information for those who want to be a developer today. Should I go to college? Should I stay here in school? And I think it'll be really helpful. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's exciting. I am glad I get to get something, give you guys a little bit different content than I usually do. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like this video, if not, just go ahead and like this video now. Subscribe if you haven't yet, because I'm not going to be at the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. This this is Chris Sean, it's Life of a Developer, and I hope you enjoy this. Enjoy. All right, YouTube, good morning. Yes, I am wearing the exact same sweater as I wore yesterday, but I'm wearing a different shirt, so it's all good. Let's go ahead and let's start today. <laughs> no, but I mean, the, real, the reality is you can be a great programmer without having to go to school. Programming through school teaches you a lot about structure uh -huh. and teaches you how to build the infrastructure and to build up a uh, code base or a program to be scalable and to be used by other people because I don't know if you've ever <laughs> tried to write code that was or tried to edit code that's been written by somebody else. Yeah. It's a nightmare. You mean like someone in our office? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying there's some people are merge conflict. <laughs> Is there space for me to even sit down, Tony? Oh, I should open the door for you. Oh, oh I can't reach that far. Oh, My Asian yeah. arms. You know what they say, it says, into a quality fart. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Tony, this is on the video, man. <laughs> well, I, I think Tony can, Tony can see. I mean, Tony's dealt with programmers for quite some time now. And they're all idiots. In the, Every single last one of them, including yourself. Yeah, oh, school my. is not required by any means. Uh -huh. But you can see a difference between people that have gone to school and have don't. Yeah. Based off not how good of a program they create or by, I guess, the, the quality of the program after it's been built and everything. But when you look and in kind of like into the details of the program, it's formatted better, mm. it's functional, it's, you know, it, things are moving. What is the, what is the word? It's, there's functional and then there's uh, scalable. I'm thinking of one other word. So it's modular. So pretty it's, much like going to so school teaches you how to make something scalable. Yeah, that's a, that's a big part of it. Because how do you t how do you learn what scalability? But what about you know, for those who are self taught? What's the biggest difference? But other than it's just that they're, it's more we don't know how to build something scalable. <laughs> Tony. Well, I mean, I've yet to be the self taught person. This is not my technical game. director. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the guy that oversees well, me. <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> self taught people can write code and program very well. I mean, it, if you're conceptual, if you're a critical thinker, if, you, if you're a problem solver, and you know how to program, you're going to be a good programmer. But it's like uh, someone with architecture. If you're a, um, a designer, if you know how to, if you're a good artist, you can draw a very nice building. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to build the building? No. By any means, you don't know what structure that building needs, but you know what it needs to look like and you know what its function is. Now, if you look at the, like a program, if you, when, you, like, when you're using a program or like a web, in the web development side, using a website, everything could work good on the outside. You know, all the buttons lead to the right thing, forms submit correctly and all that jazz. But when you look at, like when you look under the hood and what's powering everything, I mean, they could have functions that are 100 lines long that could be used or reduced down to like 10 lines and make things faster. And AKA, that's, uh, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just with time. If you're self-taught, that's just with time. Because yeah. then you find out what works and what doesn't work. And then if you'll find a few pieces of code that is much more condensed that you 
that you found online or that someone showed you. We've been just learning functions. Yeah, yeah, learning yeah. functions, learning, yeah, how to in PHP. Code. Different, yeah, uh, yeah, and then PHP, I mean, PHP is huge because you can do drugs. a lot of things in a few lines, or you can do a lot of things in a lot of lines. Yeah, that's very true. So. Tony, totally, totally, do you remember that when my I used to like when I wrote um one page, like oh, wait, still? yeah when I uh, <laughs> when I um wrote a page with like a bunch of lines of code. I think that honestly that happens with every developer I've ever dealt with. Over time, they'll look at something that I thought was good, uh, and then they're like, "Wow, I sucked." <laughs> yeah, I mean, I look back at the stuff. Yeah, I, I look at the back at my own. Yeah, like, I know. Thermometer stuff. I'm just yeah, like, yeah. dude, I can make that so much simpler now. Like when I when I look at my old code, it's like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, I think we'll actually. That's everyone though, in general. Though. Yeah, I think we're the best thing in the world for self-taught developers uh -huh. is code reviews. That's is true. Talking, we, we going yeah. over code. We don't really do that too often, unless we you never do. do. Uh, we do a. Uh, we never PR. do. It. We need to. Well, even then, they're just yes. reviewing it. But no one even. Oh yeah. I, I mean, yeah. sitting down with someone and then having them look through it and be like, oh, well, yeah. we have this four different times. Yeah. Why not? Just make a function that calculates this number instead of calculating it four times. And I think uh, Brian's gonna do that with me next week, right? He's gonna sit me down, oh, look over so more smart. PHP, I think that's what we and should uh, do, help me like just get, get more familiar with the system too. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Because I've been studying a lot of PHP, but doing it professionally is totally different. It's like you knew PHP before you came here, right? And yeah, but I mean, how much like more PHP did you know now compared to what you learned in school? Well, let's say let's say I know ten PHP now. Not I'm ten as in I'm good. Like yeah. out of one of ten. Let's say I know ten. I knew one going into this. Uh, I knew the basics, the fundamentals. And you've been here for a year. Right? One how, year. Yeah, just a year. Next month will be a year. Uh -huh. And having to be like forced doing this code and getting my hands dirty in it, I know. So much. It's so, awesome. And another thing too, which I don't think a lot of people understand, I didn't understand until I went to this company, was yeah. it's not even a lot about how good of a programmer you are, which has a lot to do with it, but it's your knowledge of the system. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know how things work, how things connect, what thing or what piece of code or what classes talk to another or how to instantiate things or you know what your I guess what the structure of the program that you're working with, Yeah. everyone's going to be confused and it's going to be hard and it's going to be harder to understand in the beginning. You'll become a merge conflict. You will become a merge, <laughs> a merge conflict. <laughs> no. Are you yeah. filming right now? Yeah, I'm filming. But no, but Film your mom. The more that, <laughs> <Don't need> that. <laughs> the more that you are, get fam or familiar as you rise yourself with the, sh like with the program or with the structure that that program is sitting on, everything just becomes easier. Because it's not like you're looping over an array or you're concatenating things on top of this onto a string. Because that stuff is, I mean, that's pretty simple PHP. Yeah. But it, it's like taking one part of the program or adding something to a program and knowing how that's gonna talk to everything else and how it's gonna function and you know what effects that's gonna have on other things. Because I can talk to Brian right now and say, hey, you know, I wanna do these things. And he's like, yeah, you're gonna touch these 10 files with that one function. So just knowing the system is that's what's... That's a, that's a big part of it. And yeah. a lot of people say like, oh, you know, I'm a good programmer. But not. Well, you could be yeah. a great programmer at one, uh, company. at one company, and then you can move to another one, you have no clue how their whole structure you works. But that's, API. Or exactly. you could be the worst programmer yeah. ever and move to another company. Or you, like, you know, like, for program. example, like Jason reads my API all the time that I wrote, right, Jason? All the time. <laughs> but, all, all three of them. That I copied and pasted. Yeah, all <laughs> Incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. Yeah. I think that's copy paste it incorrectly. What are you yeah, talking about? I think that's the importance of uh, that one guy was like, why, why is the same part there twice? Yeah. Oh no, I bought it twenty two cents. There's no recording in here, by the way. Okay. It's not recording. Okay, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it different from every store? Because no, it's I've been yeah, doing it. Okay. The... It's already. It was like all sorts of stuff. 220 and haven't eaten yet. You know why? Because you're a pansy. This guy. A vegan pansy. This guy. You know, I heard vegans uh, poop multicolored. It's actually really true. I'm not gonna lie. But also, they're just constantly constipated. Actually, that's very true in a good way. And it's so much constipation that it actually starts coming out their mouth. <laughs> that's actually kind of true too. That's Dude, are you sure you're not vegan? How do you know the, this stuff? This is the insider stuff, man. You don't tell them this or else no one will turn vegan.